Morning, Mr. Bannister. Uh, my name's Ray, uh, and we're trying to do some recordings of people's memories of the of the lake. Course, and I believe yeah, you've got yeah. some. Uh, but it was just a lake when I was here. It was just a lake. Okay, it was August. Uh, it was September the third, nineteen thirty-nine. The day the war started. Right. Was uh, used to live in Manchester in Ancoach, which is a yeah. very slum area. No trees, no grass, nothing. Just trams and mills. Uh, a few mills around there, I think. <laughs> well, this, uh, the nearest was Piccadilly Gardens, uh, and uh, uh, that was about it. Uh, That's the only grass to want any tree, nothing. No. And then you get sent to a place like this, uh, a wonderland sort of thing. And uh, there was just, there was, th th well, there was four of us really. There was um, myself, my brother James, and my sister Joyce, and uh, another girl called Conroy. We lived at Mrs. Graham's, right facing Rudyard Lake Hotel. That's where we was evacuated. And we were the only evacuees in Rudyard Lake. All the rest out of the school were sent to a hostel up at the top of the lake. Oh yes, Cliff Park Hall it could probably I don't be. know what it's, what it's yes, called. Never yes. got there, right, never went up there. So there was only the, the four of us and, right. and we, we, we was there because my sister was 14 uh, and Mrs Graham had a little cafeteria some at weekends for the visitors, you know, and she used to my yeah. sister was 14 so she was ideal. Right, to help her. As a helper. Uh, so she, 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 she adopted us for like, and that's where we were. But the only problem was, she was a nice lady, she used to feed as well. Mm -hmm. But you had to be out, me and my brother, <laughs> first thing. Yeah. The water went down to the edge, there was trees along here, mm. all trees, right yeah. along the water's edge. And all the, the rowing boats was parked along here. Yes. All with, with all chained up. No yes. pontoons, nothing. It was no. just, right. just in the grass, uh -huh. and it was chained up here. And the, the cabin, the the bloke's cabin used to be over there. There was no walls there, nothing. No. There was nothing, just the, just the water and the grass. Right. There was no trees, and the train used to run along there to Macclesfield, mm -hmm. along there, the ordinary train, an ordinary train. Mrs. Graham was hard enough to show us where some lady had got a foot trapped in the, the railway line when oh. she had these high boots on oh that yes. fasten on. Uh -huh. The train came and took her off at the ankle. Oh, crikey. Now, she did point that out straight <laughs> away. That's what you want as a young lad, isn't <laughs> that's it? That's what I say. So, uh -huh. it's, uh, that's all she, she was just pointing out the dangers of going on the railway, right, really. Right, right. So that's what she told us. Uh, and what did you do all day then? You just out in the fields and the woods? And oh, don't, don't mention it. Oh, <laughs> it went wild. <laughs> you went wild. <laughs> oh dear God! Uh, you were you were the riffraff, were oh, you coming from yeah, the city? Yeah, well, it was it was, was slum land. You know what I mean? Ancoats. I don't know if you've ever been to Manchester. Yes, I used to be calling Ancoats a lot at the uh, yeah, textile well, factory. Well, that was it. Uh, it was yeah. bandit country in those days. It had yeah. a terrible name. I don't mm. know what it's like nowadays, but no. uh, I just had a one. Oh, and they were nice people, don't get me wrong, they're no, nice I'm people. Sure they were genuine say, people, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all the lads and everything. Yeah. We, uh, my brother was 10 and I was 8. I was uh, 8 years old and he was 10. Uh. So the thing was, there was a railway station where we got off. The yes. train brought us to the railway yes, station. The main station, yeah. Uh, that, that's we all got picked up there. People coming the Tuki away, and Mrs. Graham took us down here. We walked down, and people went off in cars and everything. And uh, there was only us. You have your name round your neck or something? No, he had a, the, a, a label, a label, a label, yes, a label, label on, and it, uh, it was like Paddington Bear. Yeah, a, a uh -huh. gas mask case yes, and uh -huh. thing like that hanging around your neck, and right, right, and your little and a banana and a tin of evaporated milk and what have you. Right. That yeah, was yeah, all that on. Yeah. for the week, was it? <laughs> yeah, and also uh, my mother. My mother was there. She came with it on the train, and she went back on the train the same right. day. Uh. So the next morning, you see, the point is with Mrs. Graham, you had to be out. First thing of the morning, you eat a lovely breakfast, don't get me wrong, well right. fed. I had yeah. Kellogg's and, and the, the other kids had sausage and bananas and Christ knows whatever, whatever you yeah. eat. But uh, bacon and eggs and everything, plenty sweet, but you had to eat it. Right. 
You had Tweety. Oh, went. she had two sons, by the way. There wasn't any father. There was two sons, one called Alan, one called George. Uh, probably around about the 20 mark pair of them. Mm -hmm. So th they were really <laughs> adults compared with me. I'm yes. eight year old. Uh -huh. So we had to get out of a morning. Right. And like I say, we was the only two evacuees in right. the village. Yes. The school was closed, uh -huh. no school. No. So you had to make do all day. Yes. We went on the railway station first. That's the first place we got chased. And uh, <laughs> chased? Why? Yeah. Well, he didn't like you messing about with the chocolate machines. You used to have chocolate. <laughs> so you were up to something then, yes. <laughs> chocolate with my brother. <laughs> I was only eight. Yeah. <laughs> he was chocolate Shaking machines. It, was to see if anybody had left anything in, right, sort of thing. Right. So Fair he used enough. to pull on the but nothing came out. We never got any chocolate out of there. <laughs> but we got the station, station master's master. <laughs> chasers. Yeah, yeah. But it didn't deter us, let's put it that way. <laughs> uh, so then, then we, we, we used to come here and uh, like I said, there was nothing here, but the boat house was over there mm -hmm. and you was down to the boats here. There, yeah. yeah, that not that one. He had a green a green oh, wooden right, hut. Yes, a green yes, wooden yes. hut. About in the middle where mm -hmm. that bridge yes, that dam is, uh, yeah. about there. Right. Just enough distance to give us a lead really to get away. <laughs> <laughs> so what he used to do, he used to, my brother used to put me in the boat, because he was a lot bigger than me, Yeah. and he used to push the boat out on the chain, until the, and then, the boat, and then pull it back the chain, right. so I went out and then he used to pull it back, until he started running the, the, the bloke with the boat who owned the boats. <laughs> he wasn't very happy about that. Well he used to run like the clappers with a big stick, you see. <laughs> So we had to run round the lake, across the, around the grass. Yeah. Well, so he give us, us give us a start, <laughs> like you know. <laughs> anyway, this one day, how uh, it all fell apart was that uh, he was pushing me out, my brother, and in his bit, bit of madness, he took the chain off on in his end. Oh. So I went off into the lake. So I jumped in the lake. And he jumped in the lake after me, and this bloke was running around with his big stick. And uh, we legged it, so we had to stay out all, we couldn't go home, so we were soaking wet. <laughs> we we legged it up here somewhere, and we yeah. ran off in, so he didn't get any. I'd probably got his boat back, I suppose. He yeah. had to well, go get it, like, you know. <laughs> so that was a, a little escapade. Oh, I know, yeah, so that was a little escapade, so we. Uh, then there's a bloke here fishing, like I say, it was, it was, you, you used to be sat on the bench, you sat here, yeah. and uh, fishing, and we came up and was watching him. He went off somewhere, and he said to me, brother, now don't touch, <laughs> he said to me, well, don't touch this. Anyway, he went off, so I got hold of the rod, and my brother said, oh, you know, now I'm messing about, and I picked it up, and the fish went up into the air. <laughs> And he was hanging, hanging from the tree. As he came back, the fish was dangling about the tree. So I had to let go of the rod. Rod was swinging about. <laughs> we legged up there again. <laughs> Get away. So uh, well, that was another a proper, one. Proper little tear away. Yes. Yeah. So so that was another little escapade. And then uh, when well, it's, it's, it's every day, we just. Yeah. Doing things Up that to no good. nobody else, <laughs> <laughs> nobody else did like. You know? oh, that's so, uh, so we, we, we in the end, it, what happened was that uh, they must have they must have all met in the pub one night. Right. and decided that they couldn't, we couldn't stand it anymore. They soon have the Germans really, <laughs> and uh, the police came to oh, the house. Dear, dear. So he, he gave us a choice that uh, we could either go to Boston <laughs> or go back to Manchester. Right. <laughs> so we went back to Manchester. All right. <laughs> and it, it, last, I, it, it lasted a fort. We was only here a fortnight. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Well, I bet your mum was glad to see you back, though, wasn't she? Well, my mother, yeah, she, they sent for my mother. My mother came and on the train, we, we, and that's that's when it, all the threats came well. out. Yeah, that uh, yeah. I need to take him 